All right, guys. How's everybody doing? I know we've been away for a while, but the Mon Squad is back. Well, at least I am Dave, aka Blazing Wing. You guys already know me. You know why we're here. So let's just hop right in. Today we're kicking off a playthrough of the original Mass Effect. The plan is to actually do the entire trilogy, but obviously you start off with the very first game in the series. And yeah, it's one of my favorite trilogies I think ever. Uh, just game series ever. Uh, Andromeda is coming out. Oh, it was a February, March of next year. I'm super excited for it, and I want to play that for you guys, but. Before that, I thought it'd be cool to play through the original trilogy. And before anybody says anything, yes, I am one of those people that actually enjoyed the ending to Mass Effect 3. So, <laughs> if you just sit there and say, oh, the third game sucked, I thought Mass Effect 3 was awesome. And yeah, you know, maybe the ending wasn't perfect, but don't discredit the whole game because of the last five minutes. Because Mass Effect 3, honestly, was one of the best games, I think, of the series. And even beyond that, I think it's one of the best games just... It's just good. I mean, but I'm kind of a Mass Effect fanboy, so it may not necessarily uh, count as much as it probably should. Anyways, I'm blabbering on. Let's get started. You guys get to sit through the character creation here. We're going to start from scratch. Going to create a soldier. And I am going to do a girl because I just, I, I have tried, actually I'm going to name her Emily. I have tried so many times to listen to, is it Mark Meir, I think, who does the voice of, I, I may be wrong, correct me if I am, uh, the voice of Male Shepherd, and I just, I can't. I can't get into him. I it for me it's Jennifer Hale or nobody. I just she's that damn good as Commander Shepard. There's just so much passion there. It it's very impressive to me. All right, so let's put her profile. Let's see, what do I want her to be? I'll read them to you guys. Spacer. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist. You were born and raised on Mindoy or... Min... 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 Okay, I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. I'm <laughs> just repeating Min over and over. Like, my brain isn't quite connecting there. Uh, we're just going to call it Planet Min. How about that? A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Min, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Well, given how hard of time I had uh, just pronouncing the name of the fucking planet, we're not going to be picking colonist. I can tell you that right right now. Uh, Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I kind of, I kind of like Spacer better, I think. So I'm going to go with Spacer. Oh God, do I have to read all these two? <laughs> all right. Uh, psychological profile. Soul survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went ext or horribly wrong. I don't know why I read that as extremely. Oh, because there's extreme later in the... God, I shouldn't be doing this at 6 o'clock in the fucking morning. <laughs> Trapped in an extreme survival situation. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> You had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. War Hero Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Or ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. 
You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. I'm going to go Soul Survivor. Confirm military specialization. Alright. Engineer. Adept. Hmm. Infiltrator. Uh, Sentinel. I didn't mean to go back. Sorry about that. And Vanguard. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's a little boring, but I've always had the most fun playing as a soldier. I just like the run and gun style. I let my uh, teammates worry about the the biotics and all the you know the the parlor tricks as. Uh, Mr. Satan from DBZ might <laughs> refer to them. They're just tricks. <laughs> Alright. It's not bad. Preset. Uh, I like most of the details. Uh, I'm going to change your hair. I like my shepherd uh, as blonde. And we'll see about... Because I kind of like that. Give her some different eyebrows, I think. Hmm. That doesn't look terrible. She seems to have a scar over her eye. I'm not sure if that's... Just... It, it might be part of uh, one of the options I can change. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, there you go. Give her the goth look. <laughs> Dark black <laughs> makeup. She doesn't really strike me as the type who would be wearing makeup, if I'm being completely honest. Although I am going to give her some eyeshadow. Because otherwise, it looks like that, and that's just kind of weird looking. I think it's some, like, dark eyeshadow, maybe. But not, like, a raccoon. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that. Alright, I kind of skipped a few of these. Honestly, I think head is pretty fine for me. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Um. I I think shape is fine. I kind of dig the green eyes actually. Uh, jaw looks good. Mouth is fine. Uh, I don't see any options to get rid of the. Oh, there we go. Went right past it. I don't want her to have any scars. She's a sole survivor, but she's also pristine. <laughs> That's a... Yeah. I just said I didn't want her to look like she was wearing makeup, and that kind of makes her look like she's wearing makeup, but I'm fine with it. I think I'll make her a little lighter. Uh, and then, yeah, honestly, I think I think we're good. There she is, everybody. The hero of the universe. Emily... Sh Commander Emily Shepard. Let's kick some ass. Profile reconstruction complete. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I've wasted your time long enough. Let's jump in to Mass Effect. Identification. Oh, of course, we're not quite done yet. Uh, let's do normal difficulty. Uh, auto level up off. Subtitles on. Yeah, judge me if you want. I'm going to leave the target assist on. It makes it easier. Uh, I'll let the squad auto power or use their powers themselves. And I'll let the game auto save. Alright, here we go, folks. Welcome to Mass Effect. I will try to. What about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Avoid talking when they are. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. 
Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. I've tried reading this out loud before and I never actually complete it in time. So you guys feel free to pause uh, the video and read it all if you want to. I'm not going to. <laughs> Mass Effect. God, I love this game. God, Shepard is such a badass. 